Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you humbly, Lord, and we beg and we plead, Lord, that you be with us, move among us, that you lead us and guide us in your perfect will, Lord. And we give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. One has to ask themselves, how can I make a video about one word? A one word message I received from God, and if it's from God, that one word can speak volumes. The Holy Spirit came to me and gave me a one word message, and that word was tekel. T-E-K-E-L. Now, I recognize that word from the book of Daniel, chapter 5. And the meaning of that one word is weighed, as in thou art weighed, is the correct meaning. As in, America has been weighed and measured and found wanting, and has entered judgment. When the handwriting appeared on the wall of the palace in Babylon, then sudden judgment came to Babylon, and the king of Babylon, that very night, perished. Now our judgment is now here. Bobby, we read uh, Daniel 5, verses 1 through 5. Yes. Balthazar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords, and drank wine before the thousand. Balthazar, whilst he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the golden and silver vessels which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple, which was in Jerusalem, that the king and his princes, his wives, his concubines, might drink therein. Then they bought the golden brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God, which was at Jerusalem, and the king and his princes and wives and concubines drank in them. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold, of silver, of brass, of iron, of wood, and of stone. In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand and uh, wrote over against the candlestick among the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw part of the hand that wrote. And the king's countenance was changed, and his thoughts troubled him, so that his joints of his loins were loosened and his knees smote once against the other. In other words, his knees were knocking. He was, he was so terrified. The king cried aloud to bring in the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers. And the king spake and said to the wise men of Babylon, Whosoever shall read this writing and show me the interpretation thereof shall be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about his neck and shall be the third ruler of the kingdom. Then came in all the king's wise men, but they could not read the writing, nor make known to the king the interpretation thereof. Then was King Balthazar greatly troubled, and his countenance was changed in him, and his, lord, his lords were astonished. Now the queen, by reason of the words of the king, and his lords came into the banquet house, and the queen spake, with, uh, spake and said, O king, live forever. Let not thy thoughts trouble thee, nor let thy countenance be changed. Bobby, we restart at verse 11. Yes. There is a man in thy kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. And in the days of thy father, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods, was found in him. But the king Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, the king, I say, thy father, made master of the magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers, for as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding, interpreting of dreams and showing of hard senses and dissolving of doubts were found in the same Daniel of whom the king named Nebuchadnezzar now let Daniel be called and he will show the interpretation. Then was Daniel brought in before the king and the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thou art that Daniel which art of the children of captivity of Judah, whom the king my father brought out of jewelry. Jewelry. 
I have even heard thee that the spirit of the gods is in thee, and that the light and understanding and excellent wisdom is found in thee. And now the wise men, the astrologers, have brought in before me that they should read this writing and make known unto me the interpretation thereof, but they could not show the interpretation of the king. Of the thing, yeah. Of the thing. And I have heard of thee that thou canst make interpretations and dissolve doubts. Now if thou canst read the writing and make known to me the interpretation thereof, thou shalt be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about thy neck, and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. And Daniel answered and said unto before the king, Let thy gifts be to thyself, and give thy rewards to another. Yet I will read the writing unto the king, and make known to him the interpretation. O, o thou king, the most high God gave Nebuchadnezzar thy father a kingdom, and majesty, and glory, and honor. And for the majesty that he gave him, all peoples, nations, languages trembled and feared before him, whom he would he slew, and whom he would he kept alive, and whom he would he set up, and whom he would he put down. But when his heart was lifted up, and his mind hardened in the pride, he was de deposed from his kingdom, kingdom kingly throne, and they took his, uh, his glory from him. Bobby, we start at verse 21. And he was driven from the sons of man, and his heart was made like the beast, and in his dwelling was the wild asses. They fed him like grass, like oxen, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven until that, until he knew that the Most High God ruled in the kingdom of man, and that he appointeth over it whomsoever he will. And thou his son, O Balthasar, had not humbled thine heart the, through thou knowest all this, but had lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and they have brought the vessels of this house before thee, and though thy lords, thy wives, thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the gods of silver, gold, of, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know, and the God in whose hand thy breath is, whose are all thy ways, hast thou not glorified? Then was the part of the hand sent from him, and thus writing was written. And this is the writing that was written. Many, many, tickle, ufarsen. Yeah. This is the interpretation of the thing. Many, God hath numbered thy kingdom, and finished it. Tickle, thou art weighed in the balances, and art, and art found wanting. Perez, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. Then commanded Balthazar, and they clothed Daniel with scarlet, and put a chain of gold about his neck, and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. In that, in that night was Balthazar the king of the Chaldeans slain, and Darius the Mede took the kingdom, being about threescore and two years old. The writing is on the wall for all of us to see. It's there. It's there, plain as day. But there be few who know what it means. Signs are now, now everywhere, and in, 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 in everything. But the biggest sign is Israel. Keep your eyes on Israel, as it, it is God's prophetic time clock to the end. And now that alarm clock is ringing loud and clear. Can you see the writing on the wall? Do you know what it says? Do you know what time it is? It's time to humble yourself. It's time for sackcloth and ashes. It's time to pray without ceasing. It's time to repent of all sins known and all sins unknown. The hour is very late, and Jesus will return as a thief in the night to take his faithful home with him. This world is not our home, and it has nothing we want and nothing we need. We are just pa passing through this place to get to our permanent home in paradise with our great Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And we must get ready, for the King is coming, and soon. And after he takes us home, this world will never be the same. You think sin and abomination is bad now, just wait. And if you get left behind, you will see hell on earth come to, to the earth. 
But we, the faithful, we will go home to paradise where we came from, but for God. There will be no more tears as God will wipe away every tear. No more pain and suffering. We will be perfect in a perfect place as God is perfect. And we also will be perfect as well. And God will provide everything we need, even our light. Our light comes from God the Father's righteousness. And we will not need to eat, but we will have food. And we will not need, need air to breathe, but we will smell sweet savor from everything in heaven, as everything is so beautiful. It smells so sweet and beautiful all the time. And we will, never, we will never need heat or air conditioning, as God provides perfect control of everything in heaven. We will not need roads, as we will fly or walk where we need to go. But there are streets, and they are paved with pure gold. I cannot wait to go home, as I am sure most of you feel the same. But I say God's will be done. But I will finish my work here, and then I will go home. I will read Jeremiah 51, verse 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. We will take prayer requests. Do you have anything else to say first? Just, I love the Lord and I want to go home. Amen. But I pray thy will be done, Lord. Thy will be done. Hey, everyone out there. I just want to say that we love you with all our hearts and souls, and we pray for you every day. And um, I will start with my request. I want to call out a young lady in Texas by the name of Robin. She's a really sweet sweet girl um, she needs our prayers very very much um, for um, our father to move in her life on some really serious matters um, she just she's in dire straits and she just needs us to pray Donna Daniels also has a real real hard um, Thing that she's going through and she needs prayers for healing and for God's touch just um, on a regular basis keep Donna in your prayers James Motley Cheryl and Gerald and family Sammy Presswood Helena Sambo and Dan Patch for God's blessings and direction Kimberly Ann and Melody a uh, Hillary for uh, her unsafe family D in Australia for her health, to be able to take care of her uh, grandchildren. We have a Lakota Sioux lady, <coughs> excuse me, that needs prayers for God's touch and protection and direction in her and her family's lives. And a person by the name of Tracer on our comments for confirmation on his or her salvation. Um, please keep these people in your prayers. And pray for Mike and Gail. Yes. And Tracy and and so many others. So many Satan, others. Satan is attacking so yes. many so very hard in these last days. But we we will ask special prayers for Robin because um, she's disabled and they're trying to take away all of her social security. So I don't I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but but we need to pray for Robin. We just um, so she just has some serious things going on and. Let's, and all there is is God. Yeah. Let's let's take these to prayer. Blessed, most merciful yeah. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you humbly, Lord, humbly, Lord, and sincerely, Lord. We beg, we plead, we pray, Lord. We pray, Lord. Oh, Lord, we pray for a touch of God for these, for these that we've called out before you, Lord. Those named and those unnamed, Lord. Touch them, oh Lord, them, we beg them. and we plead the blood Protect of Jesus. Them, Lord, please, we God. beg and we plead the blood of Jesus please, over these, Lord. Yes, Lord. That the blood of Jesus touches them and, and heals them, Lord. Heals them, lifts them up, protects them, leads them and guides them. And gives them peace, Lord. Gives them peace, Lord. And please help oh, the ones, Lord. help the ones that really need your touch and your moving on their lives, Lord. Because all they have is you. All they have is you and they love you so very much. Thank you so very much. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We serve a mighty, we serve a yes, mighty and a Lord. powerful, awesome God who spoke the whole universe. Yes, the whole universe and every speck of dust in it spoke it into existence with words. With words, because words have power 
have meaning, have might, have authority, have life and death. No, we serve a mighty, powerful, awesome God. Oh, Lord, who set his children free from heavy, heavy bondage out of Egypt with a heavy hand, who parted the Red Sea for his children to cross on dry land, and who fed his children manna from heaven for 40 years in the desert. That is our God, the God of Israel. That is our God that we worship, that we adore, that we love, that we, that we obey and we fear. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, we beg, Lord, we know, we know that you love your children here today ever bit as much as you loved your children in the desert, Lord. So, Lord, we, pay, we pray, we beg humbly, Lord, that you intercede, that you intercede in, in these that we've called out, those named and unnamed, Lord. We pray, we pray for a mighty, mighty move of God. These are the last days, Lord. These are the last days, Lord. And then in the last days, Lord, saith God, I will pour up my spirit upon all flesh. Lord, we pray, we pray, we beg, Lord, that it start with these that we've called out before you, Lord, named and unnamed, Lord. Oh, Lord, please, Lord, please. Lord, the need know. is so great by so many, Lord. God, we know, we know you are the God of miracles. From the very beginning of time, right up until this very moment, we know we have faith in you. We have love in our hearts for you. And we look to you. We look to you when we are in times of trouble and these people love you and they're calling out to you and they need your love and they need your direction and they definitely need you to move on serious serious matters Lord we trust in you to take care of these people touch all of us touch our, all of us we love God specializes. Michael, Gail, we love Tracy we just our God specializes in the impossible for when yes. men say it's impossible that it can't be done that's when our God shines. Yes. That's when our God yes. shines. All we have to do is remain faithful and true. We have to have faithful faith. and true. We have to have and be washed in the blood, born again. Amen. For oh, that, God. we look forward. We look forward to that great trumpet blast oh, and that do. shout of an archangel, and then Jesus appearing in the clouds, and then the dead in Christ will rise first up out of the graves. Yes, Lord. And then we, which are left alive, we will be caught up to meet those in the air, to be with Jesus. Forever, 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 ever. evermore. Lord, we just pray, Lord. We pray yes, for these. We, we pray yes, humbly. Lord. We beg, Lord. We beg, Lord, that you intercede, Lord. We beg, Lord, that, that, you, that you intercede, that you help these, Lord, that we've called out, both named and unnamed, Lord. We beg it, Lord. We beg it, Lord. And we give you all the praise, all, all the glory, all, all the honor, honor forever, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name we Amen. pray. Amen. 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 You might notice I have my sackcloth on. Yes. I'm going to start wearing it a little more. I'm going to start praying a little more. These are the last. These are the last days. Getting our, in the word. Our time Lord, is short. Lord. Our time is short. It's so important to be in the word, to read our Bibles, to spend We're time with the Lord, and not be busy. Start our our morning when we get up with a prayer. Yes. And then we're going to start reading Scripture every morning also. Yes. And we're just. We know these are the last days, and we just we just want to be pleasing to our Lord, our yes, Savior. Yes, we do. We give you all the praise, oh, all the glory. Lord. We love you. We love you also very much, and we thank you for being a part of this ministry. And each and every one of you have been a blessing to us, and we love you also very much. God bless you, and God keep you in his loving arms, just like he held me. Amen. Just like he held me. Yeah. Amen.